1969, when if, if anyone was privy to how the market was at that time, it was a market that had clearly the commitment of the government towards a lot of expansion and uh, development of inf infrastructure, but it was an undersupplied market when it came to services and when it came to industries. So a lot of the uh, uh, reputed family groups that had uh, been educated or had access to certain international counterparties that were visiting the region realized the opportunity of setting up certain industries or certain uh, areas of business uh, to basically support and contribute to the growth uh, and the overwhelming opportunity in the market. Uh, the Bilhol group was no different than a lot of the other merchant families uh, in the, this part of the world. Uh, when it embarked on a sector that was close to the founder's heart, which, which was the medical equipment and pharmaceuticals. Uh, my father, uh, Dr. Jumab Bilhol, being the founder uh, of the group, was a qualified medical profession uh, and uh, clearly uh, saw the opportunity in the region and accessed international uh, companies that could provide products and services that would suit the market. That uh, became the core business that we were operating within. Uh, we diversified into related industries as a result of that, uh, moving from the medical devices to the pharmaceutical uh, distribution line uh, into the healthcare services provision, such as clinics and, uh, and hospitals. Uh, but then, uh, and again, similar to a lot of the uh, family groups in this part of the world, the diversification into other sectors in the same geography became a more log logical mode of diversification as opposed to cross-border growth which was uh, a barrier to a lot of uh, families who realized that business is all about relationships. And these families realized that their relationships are concentrated in uh, a specific geography, and it made sense to diversify into other uh, product lines. So we entered into other sectors, such as uh, tourism and travel, uh, such as uh, garment manufacturing, education, uh, food and beverage, and so forth. So. Uh, as things evolved and on an opportunistic basis, we realized that uh, when, when we reached the late 90s, uh, early 2000s, we realized that we were a group that was quite diversified into seven or eight, or eight different sectors. We had a significant exposure to real estate, similar to other, other groups, which was a key asset class that was identified to be the pillar of growth in this market. And we had started some investment uh, activity in other sectors as well, other than businesses that we actually own and operate. Uh, so there was a f fundamental need for a restructuring and for a strategic uh, review of our current exposure, because although we might have reacted well to the opportunities at the time, uh, it was critical that we actually start streamlining our uh, activities in context of a more competitive market and a more demanding uh, customer base. And that was really the driver of our uh, restructuring phase, which led into the group transforming itself from a kind of multi-business conglomerate into becoming more of an investment office that believes in investing with third-party managers. Uh, this evolution meant that a lot of our core activities needed to be uh, streamlined and uh, put in, in categories and uh, uh, managed by professional third-party managers. And so we restructured the group to have three main categories one being real estate related investments, the other being uh, tradable securities and liquid investments, and the third being uh, private equity or, or uh, operating businesses.